Hey everyone, this is Bakari with MacPhotographyTips.net. Uh, I'm here to do another quick video um, about screen flow and um, what I want to do in this video is show you how I put this video that I'm doing right now inside this image of uh, the iPhone. And uh, it's really easy to do and it's, I know there's a lot of other, other videos already out on screen flow but I thought I'd just kind of contribute my own. So it's a quick little thing. If you don't know how to do this, um, I hope you can learn something from this one. Thanks. Okay guys, um, the first thing I need to do is I need to define a image of the iPhone. So I went on to Google and Googled it and uh, came up with uh, PSD graphics and they have a real nice image right here. And you, if you, you know, Google this title right here, it should come up iPhone in PSD format. And so basically you want to do that and just download it and <clears throat> press the download button to your computer. And after you do that, <clears throat> Let me put in the way this here. You're going to bring it into, um, of course, you're going to bring it into Photoshop or Photoshop Elements, whatever you have. And it's going to come in like this um, in a white background. Um, and it might be uh, on a, in a vertical. So I, I rotated it to a horizontal for my video. So you want to do that. So basically to, to do that, you're going to uh, create a new file. Okay, and when you create a new file, you want to make it big enough for, for the iPhone image to fit in. And you want to make the background transparent, not white or not black, I mean, background color, but transparent. So that way um, you can bring it into the uh, screen flow. So you click OK on that. And then once you get it in there, basically you're going to do is just drag uh, this image here into the transparent file like I've done here. And then when you get ready to save it, the important thing is, is this, well, you want to you know crop around here, make sure it's cropped and everything, and then crop real tight, and then you want to save, go to save as, okay, and when you go to save as, click off layers, and you want to go to uh, save it as a TIFF file, not uh, not as, not as a JPEG, but as a TIFF file. That way, to keep its transparency, and uh, and that's all you have to do right there, and then you can drag that um, file into. Uh, screen flow so we'll figure out I'll show you how to how I set that up okay so now what we're going to do is just uh, drag in our um, image file here into screen flow and you know do it into your media thing here and then drag it I'm going to drag it over to the um, timeline and you'll drag it down there okay it lined up resize it based on what you need here and then um, we want to do the same thing for our uh, movie file. Take the movie file and you're going to move it um, into the uh, timeline. Like here. After you do that, uh, basically you're going to resize it into the phone. Okay? It's like here. And that's it. And you pretty much can uh, do any kind of effects that you want to do and uh, that you already know how to do in ScreenFlow. So for me, guys, this is one of like you know, ScreenFlow to me is one of the best applications for screen capture, particularly uh, for moving screen capture, and I just really love it. I love producing these uh, screen uh, tutorials like this because just because of ScreenFlow, you can do all kinds of things. There's some really wonderful uh, uh, tutorials on the YouTube already, so I encourage you to take a look at those, and um, I just want to contribute my own. So thanks a lot, and um, you know, d uh, be sure to come back and visit again.